and the PRM. Okay, PJ, I'm here at your favorite place. You like the photographs here at Loch Melbourne, so we just want to say a happy birthday to you. Uh, you've achieved an awful lot in your lifetime and do know that we do love you a lot and we're very proud of your achievements. This fat is going to take me life. <laughs> How you doing, PJ? You never think you're going back to the toilet. Great salad, toilet here for you. Oh, that. And that. Full of money. And that. Oh, I'm tempted. If you ever think you're going back to the toilet, you can come back to Tracy's garage. Happy birthday and good luck. Happy J. What a year that's been. <laughs> um, happy birthday on the 26th and I hope you have a good year ahead. Hope you've got a lot of success with your book, with your cream and um, any other projects on the horizon. Happy, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday PJ. It was great talking to you the other night. We had a great old chat about old times and look forward to seeing you when all this is over and best of luck with everything and have a great night. And talk to you soon, PJ. Good luck. Yeah. Happy birthday, PJ. Hope all's well, all the business and new products. Um, hope you've been keeping well during lockdown, looking well. And uh, hope to see you at the next family celebration, whatever that may be. Yeah. <laughs> what would it be? It's like a wedding? You know? That could be Ray's yeah. birthday, we don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, happy all right. birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, PJ. Yeah. We'll take our cake. And, and our drink. Yes. And Have a good day and a good year ahead. Wish we were okay. there with you, PJ. Good. God bless. Next time. <laughs> good luck. Bye, bye now. Bye bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye, PJ. Bye. Hi, PJ. We thought we'd just come down to the bar and pour a little jar in honour of your birthday to wish you many happy returns. Oh. So, yeah. So, you Hopefully with all the books, you're going to win one of these Oscars very soon, Peach. And uh, maybe if you could give me a wee call on the phone and uh, we'd organise having a wee drink. So uh, as soon as this is all over, come up to the bar, give us a wee call, have a wee drink, and we'll celebrate your birthday properly. Happy birthday, Peach. Happy 65th. Happy birthday, PJ. I hear that they're doing a wee surprise party for you, so that's fantastic. Please don't be looking at me and thinking I need some Botox. I hope you have a great evening. Bye. Uh, Dr. Tracy, can I get a photograph of you? I even made some ball of the coronavirus, Boris. Oi, oi, Captain. I've lost my boat. Where the fuck am I? Okay, we're all good here. Okay. Hey, Dr. Tracy, you mind if we take a selfie together? Yeah, you're looking like balls of a like guitar rope tonight. <laughs> this fucking sun is coming into my eyes. Hey, Johnny, you ever smoked that turf from Garrison? No. Dear Patrick, we are happy to have such friend and colleague as you and even today we are not able to say these words personally. I hope that borders will open soon and we will be able to fly to each other and meet in beautiful Georgia and in Great Britain. Happy birthday dear Patrick, wish you all the best. From our all big family Slomanidze. Hello Patrick from uh, the Redneck Riviera in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, I, I believe you have a significant 
birthday imminent. So I, I, I'd just like to wish you a very, very happy birthday and hope you have a wonderful evening. It's always difficult at moments like these to, to know exactly what to say. I, I, you know, you feel a little bit like Elizabeth Taylor's eighth husband on the honeymoon night. You know exactly what you have to do, but how the heck do you make it interesting? Well, there's one story that I always remember. It's how we, how we met. I called to your clinic to have a, a, a mole removed, a lump removed. It was a mosquito bite that had, that had swollen. And I remember as you, as you, you cut the, the lump uh, away, you let out a scream and said, my God, what in the name of Jesus is that? And you scared the life out of me. Um, fortunately, there was, there was nothing wrong. The lump was okay. It wasn't malignant, but you gave me a laugh and we've been friends ever since. Um, you know, there's one writer to another. There's another, uh, there's a scene in, uh, behind the mask that always gives me a laugh. It was where you had to confront Michael Jackson when you walked into the, the, the clinic um, as he waited, uh, waited an appointment with you. And uh, he was shoplifting some creams and lotions uh, f f from your waiting room. Well, I, I always get a laugh out of that one. I mean, can you just imagine, you know, having to confront Michael Jackson uh, for, for, for petty theft? You know, it really brought a whole new meaning to that hit record that he had, Smooth Criminal. Um, it always gives me a laugh. Um, I wish you luck with a new book. And just to say, it's been wonderful knowing you. You're a great guy, a wonderful all-around guy, and a great humanitarian and uh, a dear, dear friend. So have a great evening. And I look forward to catching up and seeing you the next time in, I'm in Dublin. Take care. Take care, Patrick. And happy birthday. A very happy birthday, Patrick. Now, for those of you who don't know, myself and Patrick, we go back many, many years. Uh, Patrick used to come into Sunshine to do lots and lots of interviews. Uh, Patrick is, of course, a real professional, an award-winning doctor. But, and I think a few of you know at this stage, not a bad musician, pretty handy with the guitar, uh, sounding very like Neil Young on occasion. But myself and Patrick, we've been out to dinner many, many times and we've had a few drinks many, many times and we've shared some great stories and continue to do so. And we stayed in touch during COVID and continue to do so. And Patrick's been a great help to me on a personal level. And I thank you for that, Patrick. So can I wish you a very happy birthday? I'm not sure if it's your 40th or your 50th, but anyway, a very happy birthday and many, many more years. And I look forward to having a pint with you very soon. Happy birthday, Patrick. Hello, Patrick. There are certain people that it's very easy to send a greeting, to send love, to send a hug to, and you are one of those. As a significant birthday approaches, I wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. But more importantly, to say what a special person you are. You are thought of so highly by so many. You are a dear friend, a dear person to know, a kind and generous person in every way, and of course your success is well known. I so hope I can buy you a fine glass of champagne very soon when this COVID passes. But for now, I send love, best wishes, and millions of warm birthday greetings. Patrick, a pleasure to know you. Patrick, happy birthday to you because you are simply the best at what you do. Look forward to seeing you when everything comes back to normal, whatever normal is. But listen, a very happy birthday to an amazing guy. Hard to believe you're 50. I just can't believe that. But anyway, you have a spectacular day. Happy birthday. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Happy birthday, Uncle Patrick. My dear Patrick, it's a great honour to know you. It's great fun. You're one of those people that bring life and energy into the world. And without you, we would all be the poorer. So I feel a very lucky man to know you and to have said that I've spent some happy evenings over various pints of beer with you, studying and discussing our lives and our work and happy birthday, dear friend. Patrick, it has been an absolute pleasure to have known you for well over a decade. We've spent a lot of time working together 
sharing the stage together. But more importantly, we've spent a lot of lovely evenings having a convivial discussion about life, the universe and everything. But now, although I'm in a clinical room, I have to lift up my, my cup of coffee and wish you a really happy birthday. And many more years to come, Patrick. I wish you all the very best. Good luck, my friend. Hey, Patrick. A huge happy birthday to you, buddy. It's your good friend, Bob Carter, for over two decades. Keep on inspiring. Keep on doing that great work. And I hope you have a fantastic time. Take care. Hey, Patrick. Happy birthday from Cornwall. Wishing you a many happy returns. Hope you have a wonderful time with whatever celebrations you have planned. Looking forward to getting you down here as soon as possible when we all can. Sending you much love. Have an amazing day. Miss you. Hope to see you soon. Lots of love. Happy birthday, Patrick. I hope you have an absolutely amazing time. And I'm looking forward to another 10, 15, 20 years of late night, late night, one o'clock in the morning, drunken phone calls. Have a great one. Bye. Patrick, I wish you not only happy birthday and happy many returns, but to continue your mission to change the world. You are both Hellenic and Irish. Hellenic and Irish spirit can change the world. Go for it. Happy birthday. Hi, Patrick. I believe you have a very special birthday coming up. And um, it's your 65th. Gosh, I hope I make it that far myself. Um, just taking this opportunity this morning on the beach in Bundoran to wish you a very happy birthday. And uh, all the best for the party. And enjoy it. We'll talk to you soon. Here's a little picture from the beach. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Patrick. Patrick. Hello, PJ. Good to see you, my friend. Good to be here with you on this very special occasion. Lovely special birthday. I'm here with uh, one of your boards. She just wants to say hello and uh, Show you what a good job you did. Yay! Anyway, you and I, Peach, go back a long, long time with each other. When I had a very nice full head of hair and some nice jackets, but here we are together. And I just want to say a few words about how delighted and privileged and lucky I am to have you as a really great friend. A friend who has meant an awful lot in difficult times, which we've both been through, but they've been great times as well. And uh, I'm here to really say that I admire all your success. I admire your tenacity at what you do, Peach. You're very, very good at what you do and you don't give up. But there's one or two things, excuse me. Yep. One or two things I'll have to do in your honor today. I'm not a mad Tifosi fan. You never thought you'd see me wearing a Ferrari hat, but for you today on your birthday, even though we like Lewis. Anyway, Peach, have a very great day. It's a special one. Keep going. Your heart is good. You're going to be a, enjoy your special day, and I look forward to raising a glass with you very, very soon. Happy birthday again, Peach. Patrick, I hope you're having a really good night with the girls. I have to say, it's been such a treat to know you for, I think, possibly the last 20 years now, both professionally and personally. I really value our friendship. So here's to your birthday. Cheers. Hello Paige, the pack here. Happy birthday. We made some great memories together, you and I. I remember when we were at St Michael's, the two of us making soup up in the chemistry lab, filling our stomachs and us starving. I actually had my first drink with you Paige in the Celtic Hotel and we had two pints of shandy each. And I remember walking across the bridge <clears throat> and I asked you, was the castle moving? I was that tipsy after two pints of shandy. 
I become a better drinker after that. <laughs> we had great times in Mundorn. We were we met the guards and we, we, we travelled with the guards and they offered us a cell in Mundorn one night. Though we kindly rejected it. When I paid the fifteen pound fine, you had no money. <laughs> and uh, we had great times. The Donegal rallies was extra special, Paige. Because I'll tell you why, you brought us up a road one time, you always wanted to get the extra stage. And you brought me up a bog lane one time. And now, goodness gracious, only for it was in June, the 18th of June. And fair play, we did get the stage. We got more stages than anybody else. But only a, a madman like myself would even thought of taking the car to where you brought me. Anyway, Paige, you have been very, very successful in your life. And I personally am so proud to know you. You're a very eminent doctor and you've done fantastically well in your life. On a personal note, I want to sincerely thank you for all you did for my mother and other members of my family. I'll always be internally grateful. You're just a great man. And to tell you the truth, Paige, you're one of my heroes in life. And I just love, the, I just love you. And as soon as this old COVID's over, Paige, I hope to God we'll all meet together again and have a great old time like old times. And happy birthday, Paige, from the pack. Happy birthday, Patrick. Uh, it's great you've uh, reached a significant age, but it's a tribute to uh, your lifestyle. No smoking, no drinking, watching your diet, being in bed every night at 11 o'clock. Well done. You look so good. And thank you for nearly 30 years of friendship. Love you, Oliver. On this your special birthday, I salute my very good friend. We have travelled some decades together and will continue to the end. I have fond memories of that friendship shared for many years through the bad times and the good, the laughter and the tears. In Dublin's Aylesbury Clinic, Dr. Patrick Tracy is your name, but to your friends, your page, and to you it's all the same. You live in kind of rockstar life, parties and fast food, all the doctors say you cannot do but it seems to do you good. We grew up in the village of Garrison on Loch Melvin shore. At school with Master Regan, we had dreamed of our future and some more. We played in Tracy's garage, filled up her days. It was in her blood then, and it still is the same way. From tricycles to tractors, Austin Minis to Aston Martins, this is the place where our love for cars was starting. And now with a racing track, it is our Mondello Park, the place where each of us proudly made our mark. We spent fun summers in Bundorn, a true Las Vegas in the West, with horse slips in the Astoria, Elvin in O'Gorman's, and the Holyrood was Nashville at its best. Now getting home to Garrison is what we love to do, tell our stories to the locals and hearing their stories too. We frequently meet in Atlanta, now here in USA, and in the Ritz Carlton, where we did spend many a day. In the Buckhead party area, one fateful party night, the exorbitant taxi fare cost us more than an airline flight. In Fado's Irish pub, where our time is also spent, each of us know how great these meetings have meant. The apartment and Lenridge Drive were part of our single life, for in those hail on days we had little strife or strife. In these strange days and times we must wait a little longer, endearing what we've had to will only make us stronger. The lockdown put an end to any party plans, but we'll all be together as soon as we possibly can. Now I have a question. I'd like to put to you, how about a party in 2022? Patrick, you have done, lived with and given quite a lot to me. You've offered me trusted advice, the best there ever could be. And that goes for all of the Tracy clan too. There's plenty more for both of us to do. I will be with you when your next adventure starts. That is a promise I make from my heart. May the rest of your life be amazing, no matter what comes your way. Happy birthday, Paige, from your loyal friend, PK, 
here in USA. Hi Patrick, I hear there's a big birthday coming up. Um, I know we can't do an awful lot at the moment to celebrate, but hopefully you will get to celebrate somehow. Um, I'm sure I'll raise a glass over the weekend to you and we'll see you soon. Take care. Happy birthday. Bye. Hi Patrick, happy birthday. Have a wonderful week. Looking forward to seeing you. You look great for it, but you're white, wouldn't you? You have all us behind you. See you soon. Happy birthday. All our love. I want to be seduced. I want a man to take me out to dinner. I'd like to see his eyes get moody. Thinking about the thought of what flirting's gonna do. I want him to be real cool. I want him to think about getting me right into bed. Have a chat about wearing condoms. Don't flutter my heartstrings. Jesus, Mary, that thing won't fit me. He said, happy birthday, Patrick. I hope you have a great day and I hope you have some friends there. I'll be having mine next month with nobody, but you know, whatever. Um, who cares anymore? Uh, all the best and see you soon. Bye. Hi Patrick, it's really lovely to be able to speak to you today and I hope you're listening because I, of course I do realise that we're not really having a conversation and in fact in some ways that's good because apparently I've only got a minute so I'm not quite sure how we'd manage it if it was a two-sided conversation. I just want to say I can remember when you and I first met. I wonder if you can. I didn't get a reply to that bit either, so I'm just going to go straight ahead and say it was in therapy clinic. And then a little while after that, you phoned me up and asked me if I would like to come and do some work for Aylesbury. Of course, Aylesbury wasn't quite as it is today. It was still in Dublin 4 for starters, and of course there was no cork in those days either. I forgot to say, it was rather a long time ago. 2002, I think, which means that you and I have known each other for nearly 20 years, all of which I think qualifies me to raise a glass and say, on this, your very special day, Patrick Tracy, a very happy birthday. Hi Patrick, how are you? A very happy special birthday. Um, you're looking great, whatever age you are, but I hope more importantly you celebrate in the best possible way in the current circumstances. I hope you have a lovely, lovely special celebration and I'm sure you'll have a big party, no doubt, somewhere down the road when things open up and improve. But meanwhile, I hope you have the best day with those closest and dearest and nearest to you. And um, you've achieved so much, Patrick, in your life. You're phenomenally amazing at what you do. You've got phenomenal awards, dealing with all the fabulous people you deal with and all the lovely celebrities you've met throughout your lifetime so far, all your extended and wonderful travels you've had. So you're a very educated man, um, doing really, really well, great fun too, very sociable. So we will definitely look forward to having a nice glass of champagne when things open up or even if not before we'll try and sneak one in somewhere along the way but um i hope you have the best day ever and enjoy every minute and we'll be thinking of you happy birthday again bye Happy birthday to you. Well, PJ, you know, on days like this, I normally put on my presidential outfit as, a, you know, as a, as one, one of the senior members of your friends and president of clowns for Haiti for life. I feel it'd be only right and incumbent on me to dress up to make this little few words uh, on this auspicious day of your coming to a rather stately age. Pete, we have... Been on many little journeys in our life, and uh, some of them, most of them have been very enthralling and very uh, uh, inspirational in many ways. Clowns for Haiti, a lot of things would not have happened, P PJ, if you at that time, back 11 years ago, didn't in the, in the, uh, in the Westbury Hotel, 
What's your brother say? Come on, Pete, let's go. And you came down. Came back to Haiti that time after the earthquake. That was extraordinary. And so many things have happened since then. And St. Patrick's School on the hill, which is built up and running now. And uh, great little things happening for a community there. But uh, there was a trip to Malawi, PJ, that I seem to remember. A rather extraordinary moment as we, as, as we got on a plane together with a bishop. With the bishop for the area, Malawi and Uganda, whatever he was. A fine man. And he invited us down to Mao Mission, down, a, down by Lake, Lake uh, Malawi. And on the way down there, the car ran into trouble. Well, that was not beyond you, PJ. In no time at all, you had up the hood of the car. Right? I think you filmed an old balloon or something like that. Could have been a clown for Haiti balloon like this one here. Clowns for Haiti balloon. And in no time at all, you'd, you'd MacGyvered something together and the car was back in the road and going. Praise the Lord. And we went down to Mayo Mission and... Uh, we went into a little clinic there. We had a great time down there. And we started a little project and uh, ended up painting the whole maternity ward and stuff like that. We went to Uganda as well, PJ, which was a fantastic time. And uh, travelled around there, met some great people and left a, little, left a little mark and had fun, lots of fun. So PJ, uh, we will do something again. There'll be more trips, no doubt. There'll be more fun moments ahead. And... Uh, just for now, for you and your family and your brothers and all that sort of stuff. It's great to have known you over the years. The great times up in Bundora and there. I'll never forget. Bit of music and that. The Rory Gallagher. Uh, there was a little video. I don't want anybody to show the copy of that CD where I was caught. <laughs> running on a beach without clothes. It was, just, it was all the best possible taste. And I hope the tourist board in Bundora are happy enough and they can, you know... I haven't scared away tourists from the vicinity for another five years. But PJ, we'll sub a few points again. You're welcome down to Pedro's Bar. You, you were down here a couple of weeks ago. You saw it out in the front garden there. And we'll have more moments. And happy birthday, PJ. And uh, great to be considered one of your friends. And I've enjoyed many, many lo lovely moments with you. And here's to more again. God bless. Happy birthday, Patrick. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for the last eight years of friendship and all the adventures and fun. Happy birthday, my young friend. Uh, uh, have a great day. Hopefully we get to see you soon. Um, all the best. Hello, Pat. This is Johnny here. I haven't seen each other in a long time. so, But I'm told it's your birthday on, on Monday. So uh, uh, I want to wish you a very happy birthday and have a great night. Uh, it's my birthday on a Saturday, so but uh, and I believe you're only a uh, couple of years younger than me, so just be careful, get the old vaccination now and uh, look after yourself. So, look, um, have a great night anyway, and a great day, and hope to see you soon. Good luck now, happy birthday again. Uh, just to wish you a very happy birthday, and um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Pity we're not all there to get out and celebrate it, but hopefully we will soon. And uh, all I can say is, how I wish you were here. Cheers, bud. Talk soon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Patrick. I just wanted to wish you the happiest, loveliest day, and thank you for all your years not only just as a doctor but as dare i say it am i cheeky enough to say as a friend and in later years as an author as an author and a writer patrick you are putting the rest of us to shame every time i see you you've done like another four books your publishers can't keep up with you so patrick for the sake i mean this so kindly but for the sake of every other writer in the country slow down you're putting the rest of us to shame Happy birthday, dearest, and I really look forward to raising a glass with you and lovely, beautiful Marie when all this is over. Lots of love. Hey, Patrick. A massive happy birthday all the way from the Kerry Mountains. I hope you have a fantastic day. You've achieved so much in the last 21 years. Um, you should be so proud. We're all very proud of you. Um, it's a pleasure to work alongside you. Every day is a school day with you. Um, and for that, I'm grateful. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. You deserve it. Hi, Patrick. Kara here. Just want to wish you um, a big happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful day and you enjoy it. 
and hopefully we can all celebrate soon have a lovely day bye happy birthday patrick have a lovely day um here's to many years of health and happiness cheers hi patrick just wishing you a big happy birthday i hope you have a lovely day and please god you'll be able to have plenty of celebrations soon hi patrick happy birthday hope you have a fantastic day and manage to celebrate it as best you can missing you down here in balana can't wait to get back working with you soon my forehead desperately needs you have a brilliant day lots of love from balana bye Hi Patrick, I believe it's your birthday. Just send you a little uh, greeting from Carrick and Shore. As you can see, the river is behind me and the famous Ormond Castle, where we had our last adventure, which was six miles up the road in Kilsheelan in the Godwins. And we're looking to have a party shortly again. So look, looking forward to meeting up and always enjoy your company. Looking forward to reading your new book and happy birthday. Talk soon. Huge happy birthday, Patrick. Have a great night tonight. I'm so sorry you can't be there, but we will catch up and celebrate in the summer when things open up a little bit more. I cannot wait to party. Um, congratulations on the book as well. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I miss you all. Hi to all the girls in Aylesbury. And Toby says hi as well. Bye. Dear Patrick, uh, happy birthday. Unfortunately, I cannot be there to celebrate the big day with you. It's a big day, but uh, you're still uh, looking good, young, strong and fit, always with uh, good, great ideas. That's what will keep, you, will keep you always young. I'm looking forward to be back in Dublin to celebrate uh, your birthday with a few glasses of good uh, bubbles that uh, we need in this moment. And hopefully Ireland will be so kind to let us come in with no quarantine and other problem. Dear Patrick, have a great, great birthday and I'm looking forward to be there together for another celebration, a continuation of your great birthday. Happy birthday, ciao. Hiya Patrick, Alan here, stuck at home in Drumcondra, feeling very sorry for myself, wishing I was out and about, especially with your lot. Have a good day and very, very happy birthday. And I'm sure we'll all get together very soon and have a, a drink or two or three. Where are you gone? Oh, there you are. Drink or two or three or four. So remember what I always say? St. Patrick got rid of the snakes. Dr. Patrick got rid of the wrinkles. Hi Patrick, happy birthday. I believe you're joining the very elite 60s club. I can tell you it's great fun. It gives you the opportunity to do lots of things. Um, no, it's lovely to be able to come on and just wish you a very happy birthday. We've been friends for a long time now, over 20 years. Um, and I am delighted to say I want to wish you every happiness and good health and um, lots of good things and anything that you're wishing for so as i said i am just delighted to be able to come on here and say a big big happy birthday and have fun you're always good at that one take care bye happy birthday patrick hope you have a fabulous day and we catch up and celebrate you soon greetings from cork Patrick, here's wishing you a very happy, significant birthday. And here's the next chapter in the next book. Cheers. Hi, Patrick. Greetings from sunny Ballyshannon and congratulations on your first 65. Everybody knows you as a famous author, doctor, raconteur, professor, adventurer, but does everybody know that you're also a famous busker? It was my privilege to accompany you down Grafton Street one evening where you took over from a local musician and the people of Dublin gathered round you and willingly parted with their cash. It was a privilege to have been there and seen you in action. I hope you enjoy your day and I look forward to the next 65. 
Hi, Patrick. Happy Hi, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. Bit of noise here. Happy birthday to you. birthday Patrick and I'm sorry that we can't have a really good celebration this year but you know we will next year and we'll have great celebrations together and lots of great times together but in the meantime we'll do it again we happy, happy birthday, birthday to you Bye, Patrick. Ciao. Hello, PJ. Have a great birthday and a good time from all the Gallagher's in Knockerhaven Garrison. Take care. Patrick, Jim Corr here, just wishing you a wonderful birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I hope to be able to catch up with you properly very soon. Happy birthday, Patrick. I hope you have the best night tonight. Um, I'm sure we'll get out to Bruxelles sooner than we hope to do some air guitar. It's definitely well overdue, but I'm here in the treatment room, so I hope you're not looking for me. Happiest of birthdays to you. Thank you for everything so far. Happy birthday, Patrick. You don't look a day over 21, and nobody will never know. It'll be Aylesbury's best kept secret. Um, I hope you have the best day, and thank you so much for everything that you do. Okay. Who? Dick Tracy. Ah, Dr. Patrick Tracy. Uh, um, well, let me let you in on a little secret. It's how I do my research. Hey Google, who is Dr. Patrick Tracy? According to Wikipedia, Patrick Tracy is a general practitioner with an interest in aesthetic medicine and author hey Google, based in stop. Dublin, Ireland. On the radio, we used to describe Patrick as Ireland's answer to Indiana Jones. He was always coming from or going to some grand adventure. And I asked myself, who does it better? Smuggler, lover, in and out of Iran and Iraq, Frontline in war zones, partying with rock stars and artists, somehow through all of this managing to keep a career as an international lecturer. I suspect also solving crimes while he sleeps. Uh, anyway, in truth, we all know Patrick in our own way. As a doctor, a scientist, writer with a growing library, businessman, adventurer, and bon vivant. I know Patrick in one other way as well, as my friend. So have a very happy birthday, Patrick Tracy. And I look forward to participating in the continuing adventures of Dr. Patrick Tracy.